or what you see me doing um, because um, this is a Skype class that I videoed and the sides look different, okay? So just uh, enjoy yourself. Try to take a minute or so before you start class and bring yourself focused and centered on the present moment, leaving everything behind until you're done with this 45 minutes. All right, you guys, welcome to yoga. I'm glad that you're here with me. Make sure you've got a yoga strap. We are all actually gonna start on our back today. So we're gonna start in a little different position. So you're gonna go ahead and lie on your back. And your feet are about hip width apart. And we're just gonna let our shoulders, or excuse me, our knees kind of fall in towards each other. We're gonna close our eyes and take a couple breaths here. So I just want you to take these first couple minutes to take some deep breaths in and out, letting your belly lift and lower, trying to bring ourselves to this very present moment and put everything else to the side just for these 45 minutes. So we're letting our rib cage and diaphragm expand as we inhale and deflate as we exhale. And anytime our mind wanders, we're just going to bring it back to our breath and just gift ourselves these several minutes to be able to work on our flexibility and our breathing and our strength and our balance. And just put everything else to the side. And also just to remember that we're working on our own strength, flexibility and balance, and we're not comparing ourselves to anybody. We're taking that break when we need to. So as you're ready, you can go ahead and open your eyes and bring those arms out to your sides. And we're just gonna, with our feet far apart, we're gonna windshield wiper those knees. So we're gonna take them over to one side and glance in the other direction. And then after a full breath, we're gonna switch and come to the other direction. So deep cleansing breaths, pausing for a second at each side. Just waking up that spine, stretching our hips a little bit, getting ready for our yoga practice. All the while we're moving through these poses, we're going to be breathing in and out through our nose. So as we bring our feet back to the mat, let's roll to our right side and let our right arm become our pillow. Let's take that left foot in your hand and just gently press that left knee down. So we wanna feel that left hip bone pressing forward and pulling that left heel towards our backsides, feeling a nice left calf stretch, maybe from some of the exercise you've done throughout the week. And as you exhale, let's release that. And let's roll to our stomach and let's come to our forearms. So in Sphinx, your forearms are on the mat. We're not letting our head and chest sink down into our shoulders. We're lifting the head up, but I'm not looking up or looking straight down. I'm just, my head's a natural extension of the spine. So I take a couple breaths there. And then as you exhale, I want you to lower down and roll to your left side. I'm going to stand up, or excuse me, and roll to my other side this way, just so I'm facing you. But now your left arm is your pillow, and you're pulling your right heel to your backside, pressing the right knee down. So enjoying that nice right quadricep stretch. Taking breaths in and out through our nose, and every exhale today, it's going to be an opportunity to deepen that stretch if you want to. So at the end of the exhale, let's release that. And let's one more time come into Sphinx. 
forearms here. Now, anytime we do um, cobra or up dog, you're more than welcome to come to this position if it feels better for your head and your, or for your neck and your, your back. So as we exhale, let's bring our palms underneath our shoulders. So we don't want to have them in up dog in front of us. We want to have them right underneath the shoulders, gently lifting the up dog if that feels all right, opening your chest. And then let's take our knees apart, big toes together, and sit back in child's pose. So your forehead is rested. You're allowing your hips to sit back towards your heels, taking your breath in and out through the nose. Good, and as you exhale, let's come up to those hands and knees, give ourselves a nice cat stretch. Glance up to the ceiling, and then let's tuck our toes under and come into down dog. So you're gonna lift those hips up. Your feet are about hip width apart. We're not gonna lean into our hands. We're gonna shift our weight back. And as you relax your feet, allow the top of your head to just sink towards the mat. Try to also relax your quadriceps in the front of the knees. And as you exhale, let's take our right toes up to the ceiling. Walk the hands back a little bit. Nose towards your left knee, right toes reach. And gently let's swing through and your right knee is right above the ankle. Let's float that chest up, tucking the pelvis under, leaning back into our crescent lunge. Then look past your fingertips, let's swing through, and let's inhale up. This left foot comes back a little bit farther, really lean back, and your palms come down to the mat, right foot back, abs are strong. You're going to hug the sides as you come down. Now, as we bend our elbows, don't lead with your hips. Make sure that you bring your knees down when you need to. Nice up dog, opening that chest. Push up or not, totally up to you, and down dog. Exhale, let's shift weight out of the heel of the hand, more towards our knuckles. Relax our feet and let the head and chest sink between our shoulders. And to that exhale, let's walk or softly jump those feet to our hands. And fingertips on the ground, let's lift our right toes up to the ceiling. Walking those hands back towards your left foot, nose towards the knee, those right toes reach. Your left knee is as straight as possible, and your left hand could hold the ankle. That's totally up to you. In fact, in fact, every movement you do today is all up to you. I'm just gonna give suggestions. And then exhale, let's walk those hands out. Let's bring those feet together. Let's cross our forearms, hold our opposite calf, chin in your chest, and start to straighten those legs best you can. Nose towards your knee. Exhale, let's release the hands. Glance up and reverse swan dive up. Standing back bend. Now let's go ahead and bring our right arm down. Let's keep those feet together. Deep breath in, reach. And our right fingertips are gonna walk down our leg. For half moon, this right hand grabs the wrist, gently pull, rest your head. You're pushing your left foot down into the mat. And deep breath in. Exhale a little bit deeper, continuing to push that left foot into the mat to stretch your left side. Good, let's come to the front of the mat. Standing back bend. And look past our fingertips, come on down. Glance up, lift the tailbone, lunge back one foot, and then the other. Your wrists are below your shoulders, abs lifted up. Hug the sides and lead with the middle of the chest. Up dog, opening the chest, lifting the head. Push up or not, all up to you. Down dog. 
as you're breathing, let's bend one knee and then the other. Releasing tightness in those lower legs. On your exhale, let's take those left toes up to the ceiling. Walk the hands back, nose towards that right knee, lift those left toes up. And exhale, gently swing through. Left knee's right above the ankle, let's float that chest up. Now tuck the pelvis under, leaning back in your crescent lunge. Look past your fingertips and swing through. Inhale up. Exhale, the right foot goes back a little farther, tuck the pelvis under, deep breaths in and out through the nose. And palms down to the mat, left foot back, abs lifted up, let's hug the sides as we come down. Up dog, open chest, push up or not, and then down dog. Exhale, head and chest sink between the shoulders. Really lift those hips up. Relax the front of your thighs. And let's walk or softly jump those feet to our hands. Glance up, reverse swan dive up, standing back bend. Good, exhale, that left arm's gonna come down. We're gonna keep our feet together. Inhale, right side of the rib cage away from the hip bone. Lean into your left. Left hand grabs the wrist, just gently pull. Rest your head and let's push our right foot into the mat. Deep breath in. Exhale a little bit deeper, continuing to push that right foot down into the mat. Good, exhale, let's open it up in the mountain. Roll those shoulders away from the ears. Come to the front of your mat. Standing back bend. And look past your fingertips, come on down. Now those left toes are gonna reach up towards the ceiling. We're gonna walk our hands towards that right foot. Nose towards your right knee, left toes reach. Right knee is as straight as possible. Right hand could hold the ankle if you want it to. Inhale, reach left toes up, and that right knee is as straight as possible. Exhale, let's bring those feet together. Let's hug those thighs, hold on to your opposite elbow, chin in your chest. Straighten those legs best you can. On your exhale, let's release those hands. Glance up, lift the tailbone, lunge back one foot, and then the other. Abs lifted up, let's hug the sides as you come down nice and slow. Up dog. Push up if you choose and down dog. Exhale, allow the head and chest to sink, lift those hips and breathe. And let's walk or softly jump our feet to our hands. Glance up, lift the tailbone, reverse swan dive up. Standing back bend. And let's open it up in the mountain. And we're gonna bring those feet far apart. And we're gonna, you can even bend your knees if you want to, to get those hands down to the mat. So you can spread those feet a little farther apart if you want to. Remember, you're taking everything at your pace, taking a break when you want to. So as you let your head just hang heavy to the ground, you're lifting the tailbone up. On a nice big exhale, right hand down and left arm is going to reach. We're going to gently twist as we roll that right left shoulder open. Let's bend our right elbow to get the right ear a little closer to the mat. Exhale, let's switch and bring that left hand between our hands. 
our feet, and our right arm reaches up. So left elbow bends, left ear gets closer, this right shoulder rolls to the, towards the ceiling. And exhale, hands down. We're gonna face our fingertips behind us. You can always spread the feet farther apart. Walk those hands back, bend your elbows and allow the head to sink down. Every breath you can deepen that stretch. And then you can walk those hands in front, fingertips facing front, bend the elbows, sink the elbows towards the mat, and take three deep cleansing breaths. Try to exhale completely each and every time. On your exhale, let's go ahead and walk those hands to the front of the mat. It doesn't matter what leg's in front. You're going to bring that foot back, your back in your plank. Abs are lifted up. Let's hug the sides. Come on down. Nice up dog with an open chest. Think about lengthening from the top of your head to your tailbone. Push up if you choose and down dog. Let's shift some weight out of the heel of the hand, more towards your knuckles. Lift those hips nice and high and let the head and chest sink. And let's walk or softly jump those feet to your hands. Let's glance up and reverse swan dive up, standing back bend, and open it up in the mountain. Now you're going to find a spot that you're going to stare at for balance for tree pose. Okay? So I want you to find a focal point that you're going to stare at for balance for tree pose. We're going to shift our weight to our right foot. Hands at your heart. Once your eyes have found a spot that they're going to stay at, your left foot can stay just like this, or you can bring that left foot up. And you don't want to push the left foot into that right knee, okay? We want to be careful of the knee. So either above or below the knee and our branches come up. Now your hands could be separate or together. Each tree looks a little different. But I want you to try to lengthen your torso between your rib cage and your hip bone without shrugging your shoulders. And on an exhale, let's bring those hands back to the heart. On the next exhale, let's extend your left leg behind you for warrior three. So abs are strong, right leg is down, the left toes are behind you. Feel free to keep it close to the mat if you need to. Abs are engaged, reach long and imagine your back as a tabletop. Gently, let's lunge on your left toes and let's bring the hands down, scooting that left foot back. Right foot walks to the right and we're gonna do prayer twist. Now feel free to let, rest your left knee, that would be fine. Left elbow comes to the outside of your thigh, palms together, shoulders away from the ears. If this twist is too much, stay in a lunge, that would be fine. Remember, you're doing what's right for your body today, taking one step in your flexibility, in your balance, in your strength, all the while taking deep breaths. Try one more deep cleansing breath in and out. Make sure you're not shrugging your shoulders. And on your exhale, let's bring one hand down. And then the other, your left knee comes to the mat. Hands on the inside of your right foot. Let's walk your right foot to the right. And with the knee above the ankle, I want you to sink your left quadricep as far forward as you can. Feel free to start bending the elbows. 
and sinking the forearms and elbows to the mat. You could also stay on your palms. You're working at your pace. Make this 45 minutes about you and not anybody else. Very few things outside of class can you make just about you. So take this opportunity to not worry about anybody else, but just the sensations you're feeling in your muscles and how you're breathing. One more deep breath in and out. Let's go ahead and bring those palms to the mat. Let's bring our right knee to the mat. Let's do a nice cat stretch. Glance up to the ceiling. And with your right elbow directly under your shoulder, let's extend that right leg behind you and reach that left arm nice and long. So spinal balance, let's not collapse into our right shoulder. Let's lift up out of that right shoulder. And if you want to, that right foot comes in the air and that left hand reaches around to grab it. If this is gonna to be too much, just stay extended, no problem. Let's lift out of your right shoulder, lift the right foot, and push the top of the foot away from you if that feels all right. You're never stretching till it hurts, you're only taking it till it's a deep cleansing stretch. Exhale, reach nice and long. And hand and knee down. We're going to take our hips to the right. Bring that right hand on top of the left. So most yoga poses were incorporating strength, flexibility, and balance all at the same time. Exhale. We're going to untwist. We're going to give ourselves a nice cat stretch again. Glancing to the ceiling. And we're going to come into our plank. Wrists below the shoulders. Abs lifted up, let your chest lead, and bring your knees down whenever you need to. Nice up dog, open chest. Push up if you choose, and down dog. Automatically try to shift weight out of the heel of the hand, more towards the knuckles. That's gonna be better for your shoulder joint. Relax your feet, lift your hips and breathe. End of your exhale, let's walk or softly jump those feet to your hands. Glance up and let's reverse swan dive up. Standing back bend. And let's open it up in the mountain. And let's find that focal point again. So find that spot you're gonna stare at for balance. You're gonna shift your weight to your left foot. We're gonna bring the hands to the heart keeping our eyes on that focal point. If you want to, that right foot can come up. You can always bring that right foot closer to the mat if you're struggling with balance on one or two sides today. Branches come up. We're not gonna shrug our shoulders. Our hands could be apart or together. It's totally up to you. But lengthen between the rib cage and hip bone. Long torso. Good posture. As you exhale, let's bring those hands back to the heart. Good, and we're gonna extend the right leg behind us. Abs are strong. You can bring the chest down a little bit so that back is like a tabletop if you'd like. You can always bring that right foot closer to the mat. On your exhale, gently lunge on your toes, bending your left knee. Let's bring those hands down to the mat, walking that left foot to the left. Prayer twist, if you wanna bring the right knee down at any point you can, okay? You could stay in your lunge if the twist is too much. Right elbow comes to the outside of that left thigh. We're gonna press our palms together and not shrug our shoulders. Left elbow points up. Prayer twist, strength, 
flexibility and balance all at the same time. While you're taking deep breaths in and out through your nose, exhaling completely each and every time. Let's slowly bring one hand down and then the other with the right knee coming to the mat. Hands on the inside of that foot. Let's walk the left foot to the left, sinking your right quadricep, that back thigh towards the mat. Let's bend our elbows if you want to. You could come to your forearms. It's totally up to you. Chin in your chest, deep breaths in and out. Release tightness with each and every exhale. End of that exhale, let's come back to the palms. Let's bring that left knee to the mat. Give ourselves a nice cat stretch. Glance up to the ceiling. And with our left wrist directly under the shoulder, let's extend that left leg behind us. Abs engage, right arm reaches, spinal balance. Now lift out of your left shoulder. Either stay extended or the left foot comes in the air. Right hand reaches around to grab it, and we can take that left foot up towards the ceiling as we push the top of the foot away from us. Anytime negative self-talk comes in, just exhale it out. And remember, you're here to just do the best that you can. Inhale, lift. Exhale, let's extend out and reach. And hand and knee down. Hips to the left, left hand on top of the right as you breathe. And let's untwist. Let's come back to our plank. Abs are lifted up. Wrists below those shoulders. Let's hug the sides as you come down. Up dog. Push up if you want. Down dog. Exhale, head and chest sinks. Hips are lifted, feet are relaxed. Let's reach those right toes up to the ceiling. Walk those hands back. And as your nose comes towards your left knee, we're gonna let that right leg hang over to the left. More weight in your left hand. You've got a nice stretch, opening up your right hip and feeling that stretch straight down the right side of the rib cage. Let's slide our right knee between our hands for pigeon. So we're gonna take our left toes and walk the left leg back open our chest. That right foot could walk closer to your left hand if you want it to. We just don't want to roll to the right. We want to keep that belly button facing down. As you walk yourself out, find a spot for your forehead to rest. And on your exhale, if you want to glance to your right, you can resting on the left side of the face. each and every exhale helps you to release some of that tightness in our hips. We hold so much tension and tightness in our hips. That right hand can rest at your low back if you want it to. Breathing in and out through your nose, dissolving that tension. Exhale, let's untwist. Let's glance forward and let our left fingertips walk a little farther. It helps that left hip bone to roll back towards the mat. 
two more breaths here. Exhale, walking it back, opening your chest and sliding your right knee back. Let's stretch our right calf by pushing that right heel down and picking your hands, kind of pushing your body back. Good, give yourself a nice cat stretch. Glancing up, come to our last plank of today. Wrists below your shoulders, abs strong. Let's hug those sides, come on down. Up dog, push up if you want, and down dog. Automatically shift weight out of the heel of the hand. Relax your feet. Lift those hips. And let's reach our left toes to the sky. Walk the hands back a little bit. Nose towards your knee. Bend your left knee and allow that left leg to hang to the right. Enjoy that stretch through the left hip and the left side of the rib cage. And on your exhale, when you're ready, left knee slides between the hands for pigeon. And we're gonna tuck our right toes under and walk that leg back. We could walk this left foot towards your right hand. We don't wanna let ourselves roll to the left though. We wanna keep our belly button facing down. Let's walk down the middle of the mat with our hands. Rest your forehead somewhere and take some deep breaths. Feel free to glance to the left. Just being very proud of yourself for doing this today. Left hand at your low back. So keeping those muscles nice and flexible. You can have a less chance of injury. It'll allow you to be able to do active things for longer in your life. Make that conscious decision to release some of that tightness in that left hip as you untwist. We're going to glance forward, take our right fingertips, walk a little farther, roll that right hip bone down to the mat, forehead down and breathe. And as you exhale, let's walk those hands back open the chest and slide that left knee underneath you. And let's take that left foot, press back so we can stretch our left calf. Take your hands and press your whole body back. Exhale, we're going to go ahead and have a seat on the mat. And you'll want to make sure that your yoga strap or your karate belt or your necktie or whatever you're using is near you. All right, so let's relax those shoulders. Abs are strong. Let's come into our boat for our abdominals. So again, chest stays open. You could extend one leg. You could extend both legs. It's totally up to you. Keeping the chest open, you don't want to feel pain in the back. Lift those toes up as you breathe. And let's bring the soles of the feet together. Let's pull our heels towards us. Hold on to our toes, shoulders down, head up. Exhale, nose towards your toes as you breathe. Just letting that chest sink down, deep breath. Let's come into one more boat pose. Shoulders down, abs are strong. Now after this boat pose, I'm gonna give you the opportunity to roll back on your back, and then we're going to come into briefly 
shoulder stand and plow. If you know that those aren't gonna be safe for you, you can stay right here, hugging those knees into your chest. We'll join you in just a second. So if it's safe for your low back, for your neck, we can gently start to bring those legs over the head. Again, please don't force anything. Yoga is about you. If you'd rather keep the hands on the mat, you can, or you can keep them at your low back, but don't go back any farther than your body is safe today. Let's lift our right toes up to the ceiling and take that left knee towards our forehead. As you exhale, slowly switching, nice and slow, never holding your breath, Right knee towards your forehead, left toes are reaching. Exhale, we're gonna bring those legs straight back up into shoulder stand. And then slowly back to plow, only to the point where it's safe and comfortable for you. Palms on the mat, we're gonna roll down nice and slow, trying to control it with the strength of our abdominals just doing the best that you can. We're gonna bring those knees in towards our chest, give them a nice tight hug, and hands on those knees, we're gonna draw some circles, massaging that low back, gently in both directions. Now straight arms between our knees, we're gonna hold on to ankles or feet, and gently pull the knees down towards the sides of the rib cage. Elbows press the knees apart and as we rock side to side, like a happy baby. You can either stay right here, your first two fingers are on your big toes. And we're gonna gently press those heels away from us, letting those legs relax apart, deep breaths. On an exhale, let's place those feet on the mat. Walk them farther apart than your hips. Let's touch your heels if you want to. Lift those hips up into your bridge. So good for stretching those hip flexors. They get very tight with a lot of things that we do. Sitting too much tightens our hips as well as uh, a lot of running or biking and our boot camp class, things like that. Stretching so important. Let's roll down one vertebra at a time. And let's go ahead and grab our yoga strap and place that right foot in the yoga strap. Let the left leg go flat. Move that strap towards your heel, relax your foot. Gently pull the leg towards you as you're pushing your right knee away from you. Just straightening the leg best you can, but. We're not flexing the foot yet. We're just relaxing that foot. And imagine your breath flowing up and down the back of your leg. As we back away, we're gonna move the strap towards the ball of the foot. Get that nice flex, gently pull it in. And let's, you, you're welcome to kind of play with the strap. Pull on one side or the other. And if rolling that foot one way deepens your calf stretch, go ahead and do that. Exhale, release, and right hand holds the strap. We're gonna take it out to the right as you glance to your left. Now let's keep our left hip rolled down to the mat and gently pull so your right toes aim to that wall behind you. And then let's hand that strap to our left hand. Let's take it across the body and glance to your right. And as you gently pull, you're stretching your right IT band. As you exhale, a little bit more of a pull if you feel like you've lengthened those muscles some. And let's bring that leg up. Place both feet in the strap and gently pull those straight legs towards you just to the point where it feels good for you.
slowly backing away. Let's place that right leg down, flat on the mat and move the strap towards our heel. As we relax the foot and pull that leg gently towards you. Remember, you can try any class that you would like, as long as you leave your pride and your ego at the door, as long as you're taking things at your pace. That's the key to staying active and injury free. Making sure we back off when we need to. Now let's go ahead and move the strap towards the ball of your foot. Go ahead and flex your foot. As you gently pull the leg towards you, we're gonna roll the foot out or in. You play with the strap. See what deepens your left calf stretch. And release. We're gonna hold the strap with our left hand taking the leg out to the left as you glance to your right. Now let's keep that right hip rolled down to the mat. Gently pull left toes aim to the wall behind you. And let's hand that strap to the right hand. Let's take the leg across the body and glance to your left. Gently pull, stretch your left IT band. Use that exhale to gently deepen the stretch if you've got room to do so. As you're ready, let's place that strap down. Let's lengthen the body from fingertips to toes. Lengthen as long as you can, and then slowly close your eyes, sliding your arms down somewhere near your sides, palms up. So as you're breathing, letting that belly lift and lower with your eyes closed, we're going to use our breath to try to release any tightness in our muscles and to let go of anything negative that we don't want to take with us for the rest of our day. So let's pull all your breath to the very top of your head. And as you exhale, feel that breath flowing across your forehead, rolling across your temples, and flowing across the back of your head. Noticing the breath make its way across your eyes, nose, and cheekbones. Rolling across the back of your jaw and straight down the sides and back of your neck. Flowing across the top of your shoulders. Allowing your chest to open up and the upper back to relax. The exhale flows down your arms, rounding your elbows, straight down your forearms, to your wrists, palms and the top of your hands, between your fingers, all the way to your fingertips. On your exhale, moving the fingers gently Letting tension and stress leave the body through your fingertips. As your breath makes its way across the rib cage, one rib at a time, rolling across your sternum and your mid back, across your waist, abdominals, and the small of your back. Nice deep breath in. Exhale, your hips and your glutes relax. Along with your quadriceps and your hamstrings. Knees, shins and calves. Ankles. As your breath rounds your heels and flows up the arch of your foot. Roll 
goes across the top of the foot between your toes and all the way to your toe tips. Exhale, moving the toes gently, letting tension and stress leave the body through your toe tips. Feeling a calm and a peace. New outlook on the rest of your day. Ready to take it on, bringing this calm and peace with you. So let's be nice to ourselves coming out of this position slowly. Placing one foot on the mat, bending that knee. And allowing the other knee to join up when you're ready. As you're ready, we can roll to one side. Your bottom arm becomes your pillow. And you can gently open those eyes as you're ready. Pressing yourself up to a nice sitting position. Take a nice deep breath in, reaching your arms up. Exhale, bring your hands to your heart make that conscious effort to surrender everything in our head to our heart. Have a great rest of your day. Thank you for joining me for yoga. Namaste.